Instead of going to Dead Island 2 right away, Techland brings us a new universe of zombie apocalypse named Dying Light, published by Warner Brother Games. If you were one of the few people who had a bad taste on the mouth with 2011's Techland's Dead Island, worry no more as they redeem themselves with a new twist of zombie games. You will find yourself wandering the zombie-fested streets of Oran, looting for better weapons, mods, collectibles, and enjoying the parkour system in it. As mentioned before, the parkour element is outstanding and wipes off Dead Island from your mind for a cool, new take on the zombies universe. The game presents itself with a great skill tree that is divided by three categories, survivor, agility, and power. Those three comes with great perks, such as jumping on zombies' heads and the grappling hook. What the fuck, Crane? I'm no leader. I'm a goddamn parkour instructor. But you know what's better? Playing co-op with your friends, and adds a new level of fun for the campaign, or even become a zombie mode. Although, there's a struggle trying to join the matches that can take up at least few minutes of your time. The controls can take a few missions to get used to, but it's not that big of a deal. You're smooth and full of adrenaline. There are multiple zombie types such as the Bomber, Toad, Bolter, and the multiplayer only infected, the Night Hunter. Dying Light can be outstanding with its beautiful and detailed visuals such as the day and night cycles, but the game so far on console is having bugs and glitches that can be game killers such as going under the map and getting stuck. PC performance on the other half does not share the same problems as console users, but does indeed have some frame rate issues, at least in my experience. Most of my men are too slow, too fat, or too drunk to climb a tower like that without killing themselves. If I do this, I'll get the answers in? That's between you and Rice. I know better than to speak for you. You're Kyle Crane, voiced by Roger Craig Smith, who was deployed into the city of Haran, and you've been sent to find a classified document and track down who stole it. The story itself is decent and classic, and by that I mean it that can be predictable. You sure you're up for this? It has to be done, doesn't it? Well, I'm not gonna argue. It's hard to care about a character with a dull facial expression, sometimes boring side quests. Mostly, you'll be more immersed in the story quest than the side ones. It takes you 10 to 12 hours to finish the story. 30 plus hours to complete everything, which can be very good. I was skeptical at first with my bad experience on Dead Island. Dying Light, it's not a bad game, but nor is the best one. But I know you'll have fun, especially with your friends, and I can't really wait what Techland will do next with this game, with future DLC and a possible sequel. Although, Dead Island 2 is like right around the corner, we'll see if that will top this one. I highly doubt it. Give us a like on facebook.com slash the rating pending show. Subscribe for more. Till the next time. Do you live by your own rules, Crane? Or are you merely someone else's puppet? I believe I know the answer.